Digital print a bigger spectrum uh, is, is the name of the piece. Silas, who will introduce himself in, in, in just a moment, was the, was the author of this piece. But in essence, it is a continuation of what we started 18 months, two years ago, um, with making the market aware of how our technology has been used and developing the relationships that we have with those brands. Book. Um, we talked about taking on the Adventures in Print book and, and doing a sort of a second version of it. Um, and it felt like it was an opportunity not to do a book that had lots of examples in it, although it is that, but to do a book that is an example, if you see what I mean. It, 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 as, a, as, a, as a piece of material, we wanted something that felt you know, creative and technologically uh, sort of pushing the boundaries and all of those sort of things. So that was the intention of the book, was that almost if you didn't read a word in it, speaking as the author, it doesn't really matter because the thing itself is just a terrific piece of print and, and, and walks the walk as well as talking the talk, so that was the intention. From our perspective as designers, we were just talking about it, it was a bit like the swan, you know, on the top it's all sort of lovely and graceful and that's the happy bit we had, and then the kind of little <coughs> sort of legs going like uh, billy -o under the water, doing all of the, all of the hard work was more at the production end of life, and uh, happily we got to do some, some fun and innovative stuff. Being that James the designer actually was given free range of whatever he wanted, he didn't think at all about the printing process. So it's a very unusual book, and I can go through some of the examples. Uh, you know, visually, you can just see how delightful it is, just going in that colours with white ink, solid blacks, everything was drying immediately off the press. And it was just incredibly beautiful to, to produce. Um, yeah, challenging, beautiful, and the, the one and only piece now I take around to clients. There's two opposing thoughts in digital print, uh, which you always have to put together to make a third thing, which is it's limitless. Everything can be different, everything can be personalised, every, every one can be a variant. And yet, on the other hand, it's extremely precise. So by using data or such like, you can make it specifically targeted to an individual. And so it's this idea of precision, almost like precision bombing, with a massive kind of uh, bandwidth of variety. It's those two things together that makes something interesting. It's not just like making more stuff for the sake of it. That's not very interesting. The, the challenge actually was probably the coloured papers with lots of white ink down and then colours on top and registration and so on and so forth. So, so it was, it was uh, on the 10,000. We've only had the 10,000 for five months, six months, maybe? Yeah, yeah. And um, it was really stretching the machine to its full potential, actually. Yeah, yeah registration. And uh, I would imagine the binding was probably the biggest challenge. We had nothing to do with it. <laughs>